Hello again. It's Priscilla Batzell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida. This is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. And that is a stack of containers with a couple of shovels that I want to put paint in. This is what I've usually used, one of those. Lately I did two different sets of colors. Now I'm going to use, hopefully you can see the size of that pan. It's the lid off something like, I don't know, smoked pork ribs or something. Anyway, um, if I had a tile on my table, it would probably be more supportive, but I think I can just put it over to the side, and I, I'm kind of betting that it's going to be okay. I'm going to put my shovels someplace else. I'm going to use prism pores and primary elements from Color Art, and I think I'm going to float some things on some Chantilly lace first. I like Usually I like a flat pan, but there's an inverted little ridged area in there, but I'm hoping the colors will still sort of morph themselves down to. So I don't know if I want to waste as much Chantilly lace as to fill the entire bottom, but I can certainly come close and leave myself some. It's time to make some more. I thought I would use a gold canvas and I'm not going to. I have a 16 by 20 inch pre-primed black canvas and I'm going to use some um, some varnish after this as an experiment. I've got some Minwax. What is it? Minwax White Bond Poly Hand Rub Beauty with Polyurethane. That's clear gloss. As long as I seal the black background, that'll be helpful. This is the Mayan Gold. And I'm just going to go in all the spots that I see can accommodate that right now. And then I'm going to move on to some other beautiful prism pour and primary element colors from Color Art. There is until the end of November, there is a 25% off coupon code. And you should use Either the coupon code or the link will take you to the Color Art site and just give you the automatic discount. I'll probably go back again to that Mayan Gold, but right now I just want to use the True Silver. And I find sometimes that putting, when I'm doing shovel pours and I'm filling a pan of colors, as illogical as it is, the bigger the space of color, the more evenly distributed it gets because I'm pushing a shovel through it. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone. But it does make sense that if you put a lot of little tiny bits of color and then you scoop it up, you're going to have stripes. Or I hope at least that makes sense. I'm going to have to make some more of the true silver also, I think. I have not used a whole lot of this Forbidden Ruin. These are all vivid polypores. Excuse me, these are all pri prism pores. This is the Forbidden Ruin, which is squeezing out in a sort of a weird way. And so far I'm liking the fact that my theory seems to be working is the colors are staying in the bottom. This is Baltic Amber, which is a gorgeous coppery color. Just tremendously beautiful. And not really the same by any stretch of the imagination as that Forbidden Ruin. I could have taken the tops off my bottles, but the amount of time it would take to put them back on and the chances of my being clumsy and spilling them weren't worth the investment of time. Okay, so now I get to choose. I have, I'm going to have to take the top off something, evidently. I have Emperor's Gold, which is another very rich rich, beautiful, slightly orangey gold. That one, the top, will go back on easy. I have 
I believe it's Indian Spice Gold, and that's also that's a primary element and a prism pour. And I'm thinking I'm probably going to put a little bit more silver right on top of a few things. Because I need the silver, or at least that's my theory. And I have one last color, which is a bling it, which is not really a color. It's something you can add to other things to make them shinier. But I love the bling it because it, as pale as it looks, it dries totally gold and very sparkly. All right, let's see what we've got left for silver, and then we'll get a move on. But it's not impossible that I could add some more white. I think I'm okay on the white. That's what it looks like anyway. If I'm not okay on the white, we'll find out pretty quick. Yeah, now I'm just playing. And I'd love to get some of these out here, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. I can do a few, but not all. I think. And my bottles weren't stuck down. Alright, so here goes nothing. I thought about using a smaller scoop, and one of these times I better stop thinking about it and do it. Grab one of my shovels. I still need to scrape off my shovel because otherwise you'll dribble. So a little dish would be a good idea. There is a certain amount of focus involved in trying to be, trying to work freely. So, <laughs> this is my first dragon. I kind of want to take, it's not like working with the Vivid Intense where, where I thin them down to the point where they pour out easily. This is a slightly different scenario. I've got to be careful right now to not stick to the bottom and remember to scrape off every time. I kind of want to go around in a circle. It would have been good if I started with more paint than that. I'm never sure at the beginning of doing these of what I'm doing, but it does seem to unfold as I go along. And I, oh, I did suction to the bottom of the container. It's <laughs> tremendous. But you just have to keep going. That's catching. If you let the paint get too thin, you will have the background show through to a certain degree. I do like having the little skip marks show up. And the thicker your paint is, the longer it's going to take to drain out of the shovel for sure. And you can go back. And again, oh, knocked it off on the wrong thing. Whew. 
definitely nervous. I think I'm going to take some of this. Do some new things I haven't done before. Which was recently putting dots on top of shapes. And, in, and now is putting ribbons on top of shapes. You can always go back with a skewer. And add smaller dots if you want to. Especially if you have little drips you want to cover up. Or anomalous marks that don't make any sense to you. I think I like working with the lighter, the lighter paint. But this is what I used to do, so... Where are those dribbles coming from? They must be coming out right off the back somehow. Maybe I forgot to scrape off my shovel. Definitely makes me wish that I had grabbed a smaller scoop. Some more gold. Even if I'm not totally stoked about what it looks like when I'm done with the first s section of mark making. Usually by the time I add some dots, I'm happier. Sometimes you just have to slow your roll to get everything in there that you want to get in. That's not behaving. But still, so far so good, I guess. A lot of times I can't really tell how I feel about something until I see it from a distance also. I can always tell when I don't like sweater fuzz or cat hairs. I don't know, we're going to have to wait and see till tomorrow how I feel about this. Or at least grab a large skewer. Or in this case, let's make it a, a metal chopstick. I can 
just grab some of the um, don't pull up too fast if the paint is thick and sticky and when that timer goes off in two minutes I'm going to give myself another couple minutes, but until then I'm going to try and remember to tell you stuff. And I'm going to try and draw with this chopstick, which might be a farce. I hope my head isn't completely obscuring everything and I will move it. Weird shaped drips make excellent little buds. And add texture. And I'm going to probably keep going. So I think the dots are probably going to save the day. And I should tell you guys, I have 28 lists of 100 videos. And I have the same videos organized by topic and genre. And should you ever want to have any of them or have access to any of them, all you must do is ask. Because I have them saved and easily accessible. Yeah, so any of these little indiscreet lumps and bumps are going to blend right in with everything else pretty quick as I dot my heart's content. We don't know what kind of weird plants these are. So I got to tell you that there is a monthly membership available to be a member of my channel for $9.99 a month, and it gives you access to a members a members only library. I know I see that one spot. I haven't done anything with this spot over here, and maybe I won't. Because I don't often leave a bunch of negative space, but I'm kind of feeling like leaving some now. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this one, to tell you the truth. But usually by the time I'm done messing with it, I like it better than when I start before I started messing with it. few small spirals on the end of things never seems to hurt anything either. I'm kind of thinking that that might not be a bad thing to have over here is some more of these little shovel marks. Just took me a minute to decide to do it. I like that texture better. Makes me want to grab one of my little tongue depressors and add some lines. But if it's not, if they're, if they're not even enough or they've got a coating of paint on them, they're not going to give a nice even line, so that might not be a good idea either. <laughs> But I'm sure I can find one eventually. So this looks a little different when you come back. i got to say goodbye. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out. If you're still here.